This is the last tutorial about the FlexiLine configuration in the FlexiSoft Designer. Today we will have a look at the diagnostics view of FlexiLine and furthermore we are going to test the functions we have implemented throughout the previous tutorials. I changed the FlexiLine system back to the original configuration with four FlexiSoft stations. This time I have connected station 2 with the FlexiSoft Designer. Logically, the diagnostics view is only available if a station is online. Let's change to the FlexiLine configuration window in the FSD. Here we have to click on the diagnostics button in the left toolbar. On the left side, in the byte overview area, we can see the bytes in the process image for the connected station. If I select one of the bytes, the related bits are shown underneath, together with their tag names. On the right side, in the detail overview, the processing of the selected byte is shown. The FlexiLine logic is placed centrally. On the left, you can see the input bits that are received from the neighboring stations, as well as the status of the local FlexiLine inputs. The same arrangement is given for the outputs on the right side but in a different order. Where the previous station is on top of the input side, it is on the bottom of the output side. In all the six windows we have the same concept. Active bits are shown in blue and inactive bits in grey. If I select a single bit in the byte overview, the processing of this bit is shown in detail on the right. Let me explain this in combination with the demo cases and the global e-stop function. I select the bit global e-stop and the background of this bit in the details overview gets blue. At the moment no e-stop of any demo case has been actuated. So the local e-stop bit as well as the e-stop bits from the neighboring stations are high and therefore displayed in green. Now I press the e-stop on station 2 which is connected to the FSD. The actuators of all demo cases stop. The global e-stop bit of the local inputs as well as the connection to the FlexiLine logic has changed to grey. This low signal was processed via the FlexiLine logic to the output bits. The result has been the stop of all the stations within the FlexiLine system. If I now release the e-stop again and push the reset button, the local input bit as well as all the output bits change back to green. Now I can push the start button and the actuators of all demo cases start running again. Let me also show you what happens if I press the e-stop on the previous station. Now this input bit as well as all the output bits change to low and the actuators of all demo cases stopped. We know now for sure that the global e-stop function which we implemented in the last tutorial works as we intended it. And that's it with the last video of the FlexiLine tutorials. This time you got to know the diagnostics view and we also checked and analyzed the global e-stop function. I hope these tutorials were helpful for your FlexiLine configuration.